Welcome, viewer. You have entered a zone far scarier than anywhere else on the internet. The stories are real. Me too. The games are real. The garage sales are real. The blood is realistic. Welcome to the Thunder Clubhouse of Horror. Everyone, it's Kaznarius with another creepy pasta from the Thunder Club of War Clubhouse of Horror. You want to try that again? No. <laughs> I am your very creeper creeper narrator, Kaznarius, and I never flood my lines. With me is oh, as always, it's Slid and. It's nice. good to have you on the show. <laughs> Let's get this done. Let's everyone settle in. Everyone light 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 your pool table candles, okay? Ooh. Dim the lights and pull your dicks out. This is Pokemon Gold Glitch question mark? Uh, title uh, author on I'm an avid Pokemon. So when I finally got my hands on Pokemon Gold version, I was thrilled. I noticed, though, that since it was an old hand-me-down that the battery inside had drained and save files couldn't be created anymore. But I couldn't wait to try it and start a new game anyway. The graphics were great compared to the blue version I had, and I was really happy and just filled with excitement. I picked a Cyndaquil that I nicknamed Thorn. Don't ask me why, though and loved him to pieces. I named my rival Ben, just as I always do, and I defeated him in our first battle with ease, accrediting it to my partner more than my battle skills. Everything was going great. I loved this game and loved all my Pokemon, but in the back of my mind, I still remembered that all of this would end soon and the battery wouldn't last forever. Didn't he already just like state that the battery didn't work at all? But I, I digress, I suppose. I hated the idea of losing my team after we had been through all this together and what we had accomplished. I had a female Flappy named Cotton, a male Pidgeotto named Ace, a male Ghastly named Spooky, a female Centric named Maddie. When the inevitable happened and the little red light on my Game Boy Color began flickering, I took a deep breath and looked my team over for the last time. I gave each of my Pokemon. I looked at my partner, the longest, strong, young Pulaba family. <laughs> I started to tear up in the moment. I get attached to my Pokemon. There goes my hero. Thorn, I'm so sorry I did this. I should have waited to fix the cartridge before all of this happened. Forgive me, partner. Goodbye. I shed a little tear knowing Where all the tough games? battles and happy moments had gone to waste and turned off the game. He's played this game for like 40 fucking minutes. At top that of night, I went to bed as normal after the incident. Turning off my lamp, I hopped into my warm sub bed and closed my eyes. Wait. Something was wrong. I tossed and turned, fidgeted, rep repositioned my pillow, and shut my eyes tight. Nothing. I couldn't sleep. But why? Something just wasn't right. The feeling of my normally relaxing room, it was gone. An odd air hung silently, almost pulling me dot dot dot. I sat up in the darkness and saw a very small, very faint flickering red light in the corner of my eye. So I pushed back my blankets and forgetting the lamp, began to shuffle across the floor. But I stopped, a squirming in my gut told me not to move another inch. Something was really wrong here. Chills ran down my spine like ice. And that's when I heard it. A distorted Pokemon's cry, sounding like it was coming through a poor quality TV channel. 
I rub my eyes and look, panicking around my dark room. The red light was gone. I had decided I had been sleepwalking and found my bed again. And I heard it again. This time, lower pitch. Closer. I sat bolt upright, eyes wide. Who's there? No answer until... You left. A shaking, barely audible voice, like rustling leaves. <laughs> it's rustling leaves. That's a spooky car- <laughs> That's a spooky contrast. A shaking, but Jeez. only on home point. Jeez, Mac, why'd you pick up that- That there- <laughs> Pokemon Go cartridge without changing the battery? <laughs> like rush- <laughs> rustling leaves. You abandoned me. I gasp in fear. Heart thudding against my chest. I can see nothing. And then I set the little red light again. I realized there was a reflection off my mirror and found the source, my bedside table. I had put my Game Boy on it. Picking it up weakly, I looked into the dim, flickering light. The screen, too, flickered. That wasn't right. The Game Boy Color had no light to its screen, just pixels. When it lit briefly, a pale blue and went blank once more. I stared, stared numbly at it while my heart continued to hammer. The voice returned a little clearer than before, but still faint. It's okay. I forgive you, partner. It seemed to come from everywhere at once. The hair on the nape of my neck stood on end. And suddenly, I saw a pair of cloudy, pale blue eyes directly in front of mine. They had no pupils, no shine. They were just dull. I screamed, scooting backwards against my headboard in fear. I forgive you, and now we can be together, it said, as an icy sensation swept over me, almost like the opposite of gonorrhea. I could barely breathe. That was in the fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, there's like a burning sensation. This is like an icy sensation. Uh, I, I understand. Well, like, that's herpes shit. I, I can barely breathe. I haven't had sex. I'm sorry. I I I I, I, <laughs> I could I could barely breathe. A pain flared somewhere inside my chest, as those dead eyes stared into my soul. Blackness crept into the edges of my vision, as the last of my consciousness drifted out of reach. That morbid static voice rang in my ears. I will be with you now, with you forever. When I finally woke up. What's fucking funny about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, 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 it's just a kind story about a, a man and his, his Pokemon being together forever. Like, you know. It's not that creepy about it at all. No, not at all. Like, I'm not unless you're sleeping with your Machoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I finally woke up, I was in my pajamas. My bed sheets twisted up around my sweat soaked body. I looked around my room in silent dread for those haunting eyes, but they were nowhere to be seen. Hey, I know it's Saturday, but are you gonna wake up at all? Came my brother's voice from the hallway. I sighed, my shaking hands unfurling the blanket. It was all just a dream. Still, I couldn't help but thinking what happens to Pokemon after you erase the game file. I still felt sorry about it. I hopped out of my bed and made, my, made for the hallway. Smiling at my own fear, in the corner of my eye I saw it, my cool lava and the reflection of my full-length mirror. He smiled his cold, dead smile, and when I looked back, he was gone. I'll be with, I will be with you now, with you, forever. And, and that was Pokemon Gold Glitch? Okay, it, it was Pokemon Gold, but there, there, there was no glitch. I, I, I think he had a nightmare or something. Uh, I just, I just want to have like, I just, I like, like, I thought about the story, and what I really thought about was the idea of uh, some motherfucker calling up Nintendo Tech Support, being like, "Oh shit, you gotta help me." Uh, it's like, oh, there's, there's like a, a disgusting, decaying spirit. Pokemon animal in my in my fucking house. How do I get rid of it? Oh, did did 
Did you play for too long? Did, did, did you try turn the game off and on again? Oh, oh, don't tell me you let the battery fucking <laughs> run out. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone knows that's how the demented spirit Pokemon come out. <laughs> oh, man. You really stepped in it now? Yeah. Of all things to be haunted by on his team, it wasn't the ghost Pokemon, it was <laughs> the ghost Pokemon named Spooky. Man, Wada really did a number on the coding for this game, eh? Na 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 na. How long did this bitch play? Like, again, he, he, only, got, yeah. he only had a Quilava, but he had a full team, including a Flaffy. Gaspy, I know you get in Sprout Tower. Uh. Probably get a, I can't remember where you get a Marie. Dude, I'm it, sure it's relatively easy. Because he should have had enough time to get that to, to be a, a Typhlosion. Like, there's no reason it still should have been a Quilava. But it has to be the amount of time his batteries would last. This is true, but like easily you can you can get a Typhlosion like, in that period of time. Like, and if it's a long enough period of time that the battery would have died inside the cartridge. He would have known by then, like, how long it would roughly take him to, uh, to play to a certain point. Like, if he had a full team, all these great adventures we've been on, nah, you, he still only had a cool lava. And once again, how many great adventures could you have on one set of batteries? Because, like, and presuming he means that he only had the two batteries in his Game Boy. Two hours topped, I'd say. Yeah. Well, it was a Game Boy Color, which yeah, means it was at least batteries. 12 hours. Oh shit, really? Game Boy Color was yeah, really they good for batteries, oh, though. Huh. So he got in as a Cyndaquil, named it Thorn, managed to catch a Mareep to evolve into a Flaffy, managed to get a Pidgeotto, which means he went to Kanto. <laughs> Wait, yeah, no, 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 no. No, you can definitely oh, find it. Yeah, you can get it. You can? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Falconer House. Oh, Falconer House. Yeah. 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 He had the Ghastly and the Sentry, which means he didn't even use the Sentry for very long either, because he didn't uh, evolve it. He he probably got to Belt to to Sprout Tower, because uh, that's where you catch Ghastly. Mm. Yeah, and you would have to. <sighs> anyway, so what what did we all learn here today? What's the lesson? What's the moral of the story? If you're going to play a Game Boy game and you really want to save, uh, change the battery. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a sloth on that fucking lamp. That's a koala, you fucking <laughs> retard. That's a koala of... Koala! Fuck! Hello, this is the Nintendo Service Center. How may I help you? <laughs> oh, a glitch? Alright. Please describe what's going on in the game. I mean, change the battery before turning on the system. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on. What is a Kalava? Uh, it's looking at you? Hey, I thought you said this was a glitch. Ah, well. Man, 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 please. Please slow down and tell me what game you played. All right, Pokemon Gold? All right, all right, just give me a minute. All right, what did, what did you say the name of the Pokemon was? All right, Bayleaf, Meganium. Cyndaquil. Ah, Colava. Alright, says he, all you gotta do is go to the store and buy six cinnamon scented candles, light them up in a dark room, and say, I don't want to be your friend no more three times. No, ma'am, this is actually a fairly common occurrence. No, ma'am, this is not a glitch. This is clearly an entity inside your house. Okay, you have a nice day. Uh, hello, Nintendo Service Center. Look, it's like I told you before. If Luigi's eyes start bleeding again, just turn the game off. Yeah, obviously. Why would you keep playing? Alright, have a good one. Ah, jeez. Alright, Nintendo Service Center. Alright, Kirby looks like he's starving, and now you're anemic? Okay, yeah. Uh, take the game back to the old man at the garage sale. Yeah. Yeah, and tell him you're very sorry. Alright. Yeah, have a good day. All right, Nintendo Service Center. Hold on, what? What game did you say it was? Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, Morty! 
Hey, Morty! Get that fucking EV game from the phone!